So what's going on toxic gamers? I really wish I could say psych right now, man The reports that are coming out right now from Ubisoft and employee leaks of information insane first of all salute to captain BBC The stuff that they have done to the BBC samurai just crazy these things have been crazy man Like I, I swear to god man insanely disrespectful to my black homies to my Asian homies, right? Insane. We also had Stevie that started like calling out gamers so that gamers are toxic uh, This and that he had a huge meltdown. We covered that Ubisoft apparently is considering selling their company to Tencent uh, Not for 10 cents guys like uh, not for like 10 cents. Come on now guys like Bruh. not for that to a company That's called Tencent apparently is what we're hearing like the video if you love your mama guys like the video if you love God Let's go for four likes on the video Check this one out. Shout out to the homie Endymion and shout out to side scrollers. Roll it. This is nuts. Now this starts with one employee who has come forward who's pretty pretty much pissed off at the at the uh, the whole situation at Ubisoft. We covered Ubisoft multiple times today. I encourage you to go watch those videos as well. Uh, but he comes forward with with the idea of the insane division and groups that are inside of Ubisoft as a company. Check this out. Let's move on. So, I got some more stuff for you. First, in terms of Ubisoft, let's, let's slow this yeah, down. Yeah, I, I, I usually what? watch things in like super fast speed. But I want to slow. Yeah, what, what the hell is that? No, I also watch like videos that around like 1.5, sometimes two. Yeah. Down for you guys. I do so that you guys too. can totally hear everything that's being done here. Soft. I had a really angry employee reach out to me that ranted a bunch of stuff, which was really entertaining to read. They were telling me that the inside of Ubisoft right now is hell, and there's a lot of disorganized chaos going on behind the scenes. I was also given screenshots of internal groups they have at Ubisoft, which are ridiculous, but they're sadly real. I Okay, oh, sadly, the real? idea of it being chaos inside Ubisoft. Yes, it's. It reminds me of that uh, that meme of the guy who's walking by and is like, everything is going according to plan. Leslie Nielsen, right, in the, from the movie Naked Gun, uh, and he's like, everything's going according yeah. to plan. That is. It's going according to the plan. When they tell you to not panic, that's when you run. That's when you run. When they tell you to not panic, that's when you run, guys. Ubisoft, right now, everything is perfect. Ah, you know, or, or it's the dog. This is fine, right? That is Ubisoft. Right? Everything Wait is perfect. for it. And, it, I did another video earlier today talking about one of the uh, one of the guys who works at Ubisoft who is like I don't even everything's so toxic. Just make some fucking good games. All right, let's yeah. continue. So these uh, he's talking about the Stevie dude that came out yesterday that had a meltdown. I mean, no disrespect, but like, damn, bro, like your company be pursuing producing turds, uh, trash games after trash games. Of course, like gamers gonna have enough. Uh, yeah, gamers had enough. I mean, money does not grow on trees. If you wanna give us like free money, then okay, like we'll we'll go ahead and support your product that Bruh. way. Even then, we got like better stuff that we can spend our money on. Like, but but okay, if you give your give us the money, we're gonna be like okay, let's uh, you know give them back or something like that. Bruh. Yeah, we we can do that. Like, how about that? Let's make a temporary truce then. All right. These groups inside Ubisoft. I will share these screenshots on Twitter once this video goes live, by the way, so people can have copies of it. I was also oh, told crap. to black out the names of employees no. on these documents. As for sharing the unedited versions of these screenshots, I guess we'll see. I don't know. I might share those, but for this video, they will be blacked out because I think that's a good, safer way of doing this, especially on YouTube. And before uh, that's the right way to go, by the way, that's totally the right way to go. And he has included these. He actually what, has what all pictures? these screenshots over here that we're going to dig into a little bit deeper. These are all the groups that are inside. Woman and non-binary Paris studio. This group welcome everyone who identifies as a woman or non-binary and trust in an unsafe sharing space and or want to change. Hehe, <laughs> men are wrong. Men are always manipulating. At Ubisoft, at least some of the groups that you look at and you're like, what, what, what does, why do these exist? Crazy, bro. The French queer bureau. The, Fran the French queer bureau, the group Ubisoft co-workers in France who want to discuss. It's a community of LGTV plus Q, QIPS2, A. Okay, what, what's all these alphabets? So, like, okay, LGBTQ, okay, but what, what's the extra Q for? Like, uh, IP, 2 S A A. What, what's what's all of that, bro? Damn, I know when it was like LGB, then became T, then they added the Q. But what's the second Q, though? Damn, these suckers are in hell. The, the segregation is real at Ubisoft, bro. They, they have so much for inclusivity and diversity that y'all suckers are excluding everybody. What? Yo, these, these suckers are crazy, man. These suckers are crazy, bro. Damn. Damn. What's happening? Uh, but he has received a lot of hate for coming forward after, once again, He's not the like people are going to him and telling him these things about the state of their company, the state of Ubisoft. People hate Endymion because of that. Don't hate Endymion for telling you what they told him. Hate Ubisoft 
for putting those people in that situation that they want to tell him. Yeah, he's just a messenger, guys. He's just, I, I'm just a messenger. He's just a messenger. And he also just a messenger. Beyond. Bruh. About his stuff. And, and if you also want to spread this news, you, you would also be a messenger. Okay, you would... Yeah, we just messengers, guys. Like, damn, that's what's going on in the gaming industry, bruh. But still, anyways, yeah, he's getting hate. Anyone claims I'm somehow lying or made up these screenshots I'm about to show, consider the fact that I would have to somehow first break into Ubisoft's internal servers, mask myself as an Ubisoft employee which requires verification that I obviously do not have because I do not work at Ubisoft, and the likelihood that I could somehow perfectly replicate entire group design doc- <laughs> He winked! He winked though! <laughs> Salute to Captain BBC! Damn! Yasuke was blinking, man! No diddy though, hashtag no diddy guys, no diddy. He was blinking at kids like that, damn homie. Humans that look no exactly like Ubisoft does from their employees would actually be very impressive. I wish I could be that good at Photoshop, but alas, I'm not. So before anyone claims these are not real or something, please look at these first, and again, I'll be sharing them via Twitter unless Ubisoft DMCA's me or something, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna tell you this right now. There will 100% be people who are, there's not real, that's fake. Everything he said is totally fair and accurate, right? The idea that if, even if he wanted to go in and recreate this, like, come on, how much, like, do you think that he's gaining that much from talking about all this stuff? Really? Really? Come on. Yeah, a little anyway, bit, so a, a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like, bruh. It turns out Ubisoft has these employee-led groups within their company that other employees can access via their internal websites behind a corpo VPN. For example, here we have an internal group specified to bring together all women and non-binary devs at Ubisoft so they can mingle amongst themselves, I guess, and create their own little echo chamber within the company. Yeah. Some of these other groups are- that, That's kind of cute, though. That's kind of cute. And, and, you know, uh, personally, I got no problem with, like, them having a group. I, I think that's cute. That's, uh, you know, yeah, men are manipulated, men are wrong. Yeah, you guys can have that. But, like, then on the side, you guys are screaming inclusivity, diversity so much. Then on the side, think about having like a men club too, right? Like you got a men club, you got a female club, and then you got a club where everybody's around, right? Like, like damn, so so much for inclusivity. Listen, man, like <laughs> this is not inclusivity. This is not diversity. This is segregation, bro. This is segregation. Y'all suck is being screaming inclusivity, diversity, but y'all are doing these groups like that what what are we talking about inclusivity diversity means like everybody right <laughs> but of course like provided like you're talented you're good at the job then you get the job and then you know like the real inclusivity and diversity is that you hire people that are good at the job but you don't look at their face if they are good looking or bad looking or their race their color of the skin or their ethnicity their their gender uh also their yeah it could be a female it could be a man it, it could be part somebody from the lgtv crowd if somebody's like talented they get the job regardless of all those ex uh, other things but it seems like that you guys only want to hire a specific group even if they're not good at their job and then you want to have like these uh, little like chambers uh, like these groups there nothing wrong with that if you want to have it but then like don't scream inclusivity diversity work for everybody work for everybody right like no you're not for everybody bro whenever you see somebody who's black y'all suck is making gay and yasuke was a real man who was not gay in real life and y'all suck is still made him gay in real life if he was then would have made sense though you know what i mean and, and you know hip-hop music plays when he is chopping asian people in japan in feudal japan yasuke is being racist towards asian people do you guys brown people don't even exist like you know people like me don't even exist to them white people they are openly yeah <laughs> they openly are being racist towards white people if you're a man oh god forbids you're a man right oh you cannot work at ubisoft i mean there are men working at ubisoft i'm not saying that but like uh but, but we recently heard about their mentorship program where men are not allowed to be there Bro, you cannot spell mentorship without men. Did you know that? And now we're figuring out they're like Paris groups, they're queer bureaus, they're like this group, that group. And Ubisoft has been saying like, hey, we are for everybody, inclusivity. They have been waving so many flags and they're excluding everybody. And we recently also had another report that said that because of BLM, they changed the Japanese male protagonist to Yasuke right because of blm so they did that and they showed like gameplay to like a group and apparently what we learned is that yasuke was in a grocery store just killing everybody 
<laughs> How tone deaf you guys gotta be at Ubisoft. Bro, you suckers are insanely racist towards black people, Asian people. Uh, and of course, you openly uh, are racist towards white people. To you guys, brown people don't even exist. That's how racist you guys are, man. And then, of course, you guys are sexist as well. Men, oh, if you're a man, oh man, my bad. Sorry, guys, wrong gender. <laughs> like, what are we talking about, man? They're Damn. wild. There's another one that's specified again Damn. for the women and non-binary devs, and it even says in their description, This group welcomes everyone who identifies as a woman or non-binary interested in a safe sharing space and or wants to change Ubisoft Bruh. Paris Studios culture. I should probably also- I mean, how much more you guys want to change? They changed this so much that Ubisoft is on a brink of shutting down, bro. <laughs> like damn homie like they yeah we're hearing that they're gonna sell out to tencent man like damn bro what, what the hell is going on oh no this <laughs> brother brother <laughs> laughing though man brother yeah, laughing man. Laugh. by damn, the way man and damn, i think he points laughing. this out the idea that they're literally going in and creating something to change the culture inside of something that was wildly successful ubisoft was wildly success successful yeah, for yeah. decades and they want to change everything what a way to ruin another company, man. Holy crap, bro. Ubisoft, listen, man, like, Ubisoft was a juggernaut of a company. They were worth billions, dog. They were worth billions. Now they're somewhere around, like, 1 billion. They're dipping below, I believe, is what I heard. Like, they lost 80% of their stock value just like that, you know? Just like that. Uh, when I say just like that, I mean, it's it took them years, but it's like they released so many turds, so many garbage games. And, and I get and now everything is coming out about why their games have been garbage. I mean, that's the proof. That's the proof right there for you guys. Like they were not busy making games. They were just busy changing the, the their DNA, their soul. Uh, that's what happens. I mean, this is what happens when you let activists run your company. We're talking about a video game company, man. Y'all suck is gonna make video games, but you're doing everything but make video games for the gamers, right? You're making video games for somebody else right now, dog. So this is what happens, man. Because these are the most narcissistic people in the world. It's all about them. Yeah. Me, me, me. Me, Not me, me, me. You, 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 or us, us, us. Look at me. Praise me. I'm the narcissist now. Let's continue. But some of this was Google translated from French to English, so if it looks a bit off, now you know. Because the person. Uh, uh, you could have the Francais right there, huh? would uh, traduire pour toi. Ah ouais, c'est calé, je pète tes dents là. Ah ouais là, putain là, ma balle est couille là. France et Montréal. You guys, I'm in Montreal, so I apologize on their behalf. I I apologize on their I apologize on their behalf, man. When I came here, Ubisoft was not like that, guys. I, I, I swear to God, Ubisoft was actually very very good. So it's. Uh, honestly, jokes aside, yes, this has provided like memes in the gaming industry because like either you have a good game and everybody's like chilling, talking nothing but good things about a game and playing that game, or there's nothing happening and then we have bad news and then everybody laughing at it. That's kind of like the stage we're in right now. That's the era we're in. Concord, Dustborn, uh, Suicide Squad, this and that, right? And Ubisoft, Assassin's Creed, Shadows of the BBC, now Ghost of Sushi, Ghost of uh, Tampon situation happening, where we're he hearing that they were supposed to make uh, Ghost of Tsushima 2 and uh, continue the storyline of Jin Sakai, but they were like, hey, he's a man, so let's not do that, and then they replaced and gender swap, and now that's what's going on with the. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima and uh, Ghost of, I mean, Ghost of Tampon, right? Ghost of Yore. So that's what's going on. So people... <sighs> Bruh. 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 I was talking to, they were a fluent French speaker, but they could also, thankfully, speak English pretty well too. As you can see, these groups exist within Ubisoft, and they are designed, as I stated, to change the company culture from the inside out based on the demands of these groups. I really don't know why you would ever consider doing this to be a good idea for your company, because mm. what you're essentially doing is creating smaller echo chambers within your company yeah. that, like I showed you, have demands for the company to enforce in the future. So what would happen if you didn't enforce these rules? Could these groups technically sue you for not listening to their yeah. demands? Work together. Work together. Real diversity. Real inclusivity. Listen, man. People are don't hate diversity. People hate the forced diversity and crap like that. It's like rules for thee, but not for me kind of situation. And forcing trash down people's throat. It's unnecessary, man. It's unnecessary. Like, prime example. They were making a game set in Japan, in feudal Japan. They need to have 
a Japanese male protagonist and, and apparently what we're hearing is that they did but they changed it to Yasuke and they made of course uh, Yasuke gay they made him a samurai and we're hearing that he was not both of that uh, he was not a samurai he was also not gay in real life is what we're hearing but they still made him that and they just swap all that uh, Asian people are also considered like a minority as well right and, and uh, having a game set in Japan with a Japanese protagonist that is diversity guess what that's what people wanted so you saying people don't like diversity that's completely wrong and false people love diversity but forced diversity like that is the actual issue the problem right uh that's what people don't want but i guess that's what happens when they let activists work their or work on their games man let me tell you why this stuff happens and this goes back okay. to the idea of the toxic positivity because leadership are such pussies that they can't say no. No, yeah. you cannot have this type of group. No HR, you can't do that. No, no, no. It's okay to say no. I know you want to be everybody's best friend, but you're not their best friend. You're their boss. Your job is to make the company as big and as profitable best as, as possible. possibly can. Not to worry about somebody's fees, my feelings. No, say- Yeah, like if you're the boss, you want to do everything in your power to to get to make your customers happy and, and reach out to a wider audience that's that's the goal that is the goal and keep your shareholders happy too and, and because if the shareholders are happy and if you're you're the boss doing your job therefore your customers are happy and your customers going to buy more of your products therefore you're going to make money not just you but your shareholders but not just the shareholders you're going to create more job opportunities therefore more people are going to be able to work they are going to be fulfilled they're going to be happy and their career is going to be better as well because let's just say they say they worked on an assassin's creed game they can put it on their resume and if they quit and they want to join somewhere somewhere else they're going to be like holy crap you worked on assassin's creed but now it's like hey so you worked on assassin's creed your company shut down <laughs> You know, it's like, do you really want to be labeled as like that? Imagine you have your resume and no disrespect though, but like, th this is the, the goddamn truth, man. No disrespect to anybody, but like, but bro, like if you worked on Dustborn or Concord, Concord shut down, right? Like, damn, damn, PlayStation was like, bro, like, F out of here, bro, we gonna shut it down. <laughs> they shut it down, bro, the game couldn't even last two weeks, bro. And they worked on it for eight years, 400 million US dollars wasted on that junk they shut it down imagine you're a dev that worked on it again no disrespect though like but, but like damn right that was a turd that was a garbage ass product garbage game you worked on that game and that's what you got on your resume i mean shit like are you gonna feel proud you, you know what i mean so like the boss the, all of this is gonna hurt the employees and what we're hearing is that they're gonna sell the company and uh, that's gonna get them fired uh not all of them but you know the homie tom henderson came out and it's estimated it's estimation it's rumors right now guys so gotta be fair here but the it's estimated that 30 to 40 percent of their workforce can be let go oh, shit. Oh, shit. fired gonzo it's over so in return you guys are not creating job opportunities you're firing people people are losing jobs and people you know all these people of course they got families too right they gotta or if not uh, they, they they gotta put food on the table they need the money and understandably especially in this economy you need the money bro you need it nothing wrong with that you need it that's it plain and simple you need it so what are you guys doing here what are you guys doing here man hey no stop saying yes this all ends very quickly. Ubisoft has, according to the source that shared this information with me, they are reeling in problems for years at this point. This employee told me that they're only working at Ubisoft in order to pay their bills and then they will leave the moment that they can. They have Damn. also told me that Ubisoft has been hiring diversity hires for roles as big as project managers. I'm told that some of these Bruh. project managers can barely speak English very well, and they also don't speak French either at all, or even at a basic level, which, why would Ubisoft hire such yeah, people why? as project managers if they can't even properly communicate with the teams under them? It's DI, of course, it always is, but if these people are located in places like Montreal, the the language is pretty much like French, and these project- uh, I'm in Montreal, and yes, uh, you need to know French, but it's mostly English, though. It's English. Uh... It used to be like uh, very, very French heavy, but now it's like mostly English. But people generally like they speak both languages. 
But I guess if you're working at Ubisoft, you gotta know French. Listen, I don't work there, I don't know, right? But generally speaking, most people speak English. And I apologize on their behalf, right? I apologize. Sorry. Right. Managers don't speak it? Oh my god, let's just keep going. That's such a I mean, such a common sense point, right? And I would love to see who these who these project managers are. Yeah, on yeah. Top of, you know, who is providing the guidance here and why did they choose them, right? Why did they decide on this person who doesn't speak the language are the people that they're communicating with? I would love if they if they actually went into a little more detail on that right there. Yeah, that's I guess weird, they want to get someone who takes boxes in these positions to make it seem better than it actually is. There's also specific group initiatives at Ubisoft, for example, to uplift and enforce black voices within the company. Nice. This group is called Bo or Black Employees at Ubisoft. Uh, Bo means uh, good looking in French, so. Bruh. Yeah, but it's like. Yeah, all right, whatever, dude. Their mission statement, which reads in the internal group document that I was sent, their mission statement, which reads in the internal group document I was sent, the... Oh, you missed an edit right there. <laughs> Damian, missed an edit, gotta cut that one out, that's okay. The mission of black employees at Ubisoft, or Bo, is to foster community, improve cultural awareness and competency, and champion the advancement of... These circuits are insanely hella racist. Like, they are creating separate groups for, hey, you black, you belong in that group. Hey, you black, you go out there, bro! You're a female, you go there! You're a man, get the hell out of here! What? <laughs> Bro, like, this is segregation. Dog. Listen, it doesn't matter if you're white, brown, purple, black, straight, not straight, female, or man. You hire somebody that's good at the job. That's it. Simple as that. You hire people good at the job, and everybody's working together. You can have, like, groups for sure, but, like, gr a, gr a group in a sense where... You know, you, you got like groups, uh, <laughs> you know, prime example. Uh, now, that that's like an example for the second channel. I was going to go deep with that. If you guys are into UFOs conspiracies, definitely check out the second channel. I'm not sure if everybody's going to get that example. But it, when Bob Lazar came out, Bob Lazar said that he, he claimed that he worked at Area 51 and there were specific groups, right? So the information wouldn't leak. So he was working with another man and then there were like other people working with other people and people were not able to discuss. That's like, you know, that's a crazy example. But point in this one that I'm trying to bring here is that yes, you can have groups in a sense where the information or your game doesn't get leaked out. But but these things are doing it because like, hey, diversity, are you black? You gotta be there, okay? You cannot work with white people. You white, okay, you gotta go there. You are female, you gotta go there. You guys cannot work with men, uh, this and that. Bro, like, what the hell, man? What the hell? Of black employees at Ubisoft to create a more diverse and inclusive workplace. So it's a group that welcomes only black devs to their group, creating yet another echo chamber amidst all the other ones. But this one specifically wants to push for black devs to get senior roles because they're black, I guess. Which goes back- If they're good, if that person is good at the job, he should, regardless. It shouldn't be like, hey, he got promoted because he's black. It should be because he's actually really good at the job. Whether he's black, brown, white, or uh, straight, man, female, or not straight. Y you feel what I'm saying? Like, it should be because of the, the person's talent and uh, his uh, contribution and his skill level. Back to the idea of having a group that is women and non-binary at Ubisoft. Crazy, bro, push crazy. Women and non-binary to have leadership roles at Ubisoft. Then you have the group that is over here. That is you know, your, your, your bow group and your French queer bureau who wants to push people to be French and queer in leadership roles. Then you have the Ubisoft Neurodivergency Initiative who are pushing people who are neurodivergent. So everybody's Bruh. pushing for their own little bubbles. Bruh. To become in leadership positions guys whatever you do do not watch this video bro don't watch this video insane situation happened with ghost of tampon situation ghost of sushi uh yore ghost of yore yo 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 te don't watch that video check out the video on the left and i'll see you right there sorry guys